Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Gold, my unowned run. And we probably should drop ourselves a repel just to avoid any um, unnecessary encounters. After all, the only real reason we're here is to try and deal with our rival, after all. Because he's the only obstacle left to getting to Indigo Plateau. Let's see, I think I'll give you a uh, quick claw. Oh, defenses? Well, you hit the Mayweather. Eh, I guess I'll hold on to the rest. Save the PP up for later, you know? Well, now then, let's, um, not waste any time here. There's no reason to, you know, waste our movements. That repel could wear off any time now. I definitely just want to get to the fight. Yeah, I'm going to take the Pokemon League Challenge. And yeah, I know, my team's an absolute joke, I agree with you, but... You know, I can probably get this absolute joke of a team through if I power level enough. <sighs> Which is probably going to be really time consuming, but hey, that's just the way it is. Though getting through you is probably going to be a royal pain in my backside, because... Let's face it, you might be faster than some of my Pokemon at this point. Oh, Fury Cutter? I mean, not, don't get me wrong, it's not a bad pick of a move if you want to take down, you know, a bunch of unowns. But at the same time, you know, this is Mayweather, you know, he's like, oh, uh, uh, you got Sneasel? Like, it's an Ice Dark type, you know, be prepared to be destroyed by my hidden power fighting, you know, four times weakness. Easily exploitable. Even if my hidden power wasn't very good, I could knock you out. Oh, man, this is gonna suck. It's Golbat. Ugh, I don't think I got any cures for confusion, do I? Let's see. No, that doesn't help with that, or that. Oh, I got full heal, I guess. Okay, we'll drop an X speed on ourselves. Great. Please hit it. Of course not. You know, when I want to hit something, that's why I have to start smacking myself like I'm an idiot. Okay. Well, I guess I'll drop a Hyper Potion, then go for a full heal, then try and kill it. <sighs> On the plus side, I can outspeed it. On the downside, you know... I just can't seem to get lucky when it comes to this confused stats right now. Ouch. Um Let's drop it. Hidden power psychic. I mean just one hit of that should be more than enough to end this goal, but after all, you know, we got stab going for ourselves and it's got weakness to it. And it's Golbat. I mean, if it's Crobat, maybe it could pull off a survival there. But regular old Golbat? Nah. Oh, great. We gotta go up against Magneton. Well. Hopefully, Groundwire's got what it takes to end this fight in one hit. Let's see. Thunder Wave, huh? Well, that may or may not save his bacon. Apparently, no, it won't. Good. But it wasn't enough to knock him out in one hit. Darn it. And that Thunderstock's probably gonna do plenty of damage, too. Oh, only 35. I thought I'd do a bit better than that, to be honest. Okay. Oh, at least Groundwire gets to go up a level. No, what do I do? Haunter, eh? No. I'm guessing this Haunter is going to be faster than Sabrina. She's my only recourse is to heal myself. <sighs> In order to prepare for it, because it's probably going to be packing Shadow Ball. Which means if it hits me at, like, low health, it's probably going to knock me out instantly. That's, a. Uh... Dirty tactic. 
Oh, well, I'll play into it. Ah, Quick Claw activated, but I still smacked myself. Ugh. And then here comes, you know, the Shadow Ball of Doom. Ugh, that Confused Sass is just really screwing me hard, ain't it? Well, if we hit it, we win. If we don't, we're effed. <laughs> I'm surprised we actually survived that hit. I figured that Shadow Ball would have been more than enough to knock us out. <sighs> I guess those nine levels helped us. Sorry, eleven levels. <sighs> Making that a bit more of a survivable blow. Okay, and that just leaves Kadabra and, well, Quill Lava, right? Yeah, whatever, we'll send out, um, Myrtle. I figured he'll go, you know, for a future site, and we can get off at least one or two ghost attacks here. I mean, Kadabra's not got the best stats, so even a weak hidden power ghost would be enough to rip this thing to shreds. Yep, already trying to recover. You can't rely on your hidden powers... <laughs> your, um, not hidden powers, like, future sight to take me out, you know, man? You gotta do better than that. You can't set up multiple future sights. Jeez. Doesn't even know how his moves work. So it's like taking candy from a baby. Sad part is I don't have my best Pokemon for taking down Cool Lava, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's not your stinking for alligator. I don't really care. We'll send out, you know, Mayweather and just absorb the damage that's coming our way. It's not time for Future Sight to hit. Yep, that's gonna sting. And we're dead. Joy. Ugh. I honestly didn't think the future site was gonna hit that hard. Well, live and learn, I guess. It's gonna take us three gosh darn hits to till this thing. Ugh. Okay, Myrtle, get out there. You gotta do it. And... Critical hit. I might as well use a potion. Gets bring his health back up, you know? Hopefully we don't get hit by a critical hit, you know, from Slash, though. Apparently Frogator is on fire at the moment. And we're down to our last Pokemon. Well, I'm gonna see things I guess we've been doing fairly well here. Ooh, we got our own critical hit off. <laughs> Take that for alligator. Okay. Yeah, you couldn't win because I had enough healing items on hand to seal the victory. Just, just hand over lots of money, man. I need it. Yeah, yeah, I, I hear you, but we're never going to see you again this run, so this is the last we'll ever hear from you. Which is a good thing as far as I'm concerned. Well, we made it to Indigo Plateau. Next time, we'll have to start taking down the Elite Four. But I suspect I'll be grinding against Will and some of the early ones, or return to Victory Road to do some grinding, either or. Until next time, then. See ya.